Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David, and this is a deck review. Hey, welcome back. If you didn't know already, I love Star Wars, and I love playing cards. So I've done a couple of these deck reviews where I've just reviewed decks of cards that say Star Wars on it. If it says Star Wars on it, chances are I'm probably gonna buy it. And so I go down different aisles in different stores, especially when movies come out, Star Wars does cross-platforming a lot. And so you go down the stationary aisle, there's gonna be notepads, pens, boxes of crayons, and of course, playing cards. Today, we're gonna look at something that is a absolute favorite of mine, Boba Fett, right? Probably already watched my video I love Boba Fett, because they do, and who doesn't, right? He's everybody's favorite. So this is the limited edition tin Boba Fett deck from Cardamundi. All right, so real quick, if you're not familiar with Cardamundi playing cards, they have Cardamundi uh, USA, and they have Cardamundi UK, United Kingdom. Uh, and so they're definitely a worldwide uh, distributor of cards. Uh, you should also know that they hold a lot of the movie licenses for feature films. So if you have a deck of cards, say, from the Spider-Man films or from the Batman films, uh, it's probably made from Cardamundi. This deck was sold in a metal tin. So this is a, a metal tin tuck case, okay, it's a clamshell. And the front of it is all sculpted out in three dimensions. It's, it's the famous Boba Fett, uh, or I should say it's infamous. He's infamous because he's evil. Uh, and it's this, his signature helmet. The back design is the skull emblem that he wears on his shoulder plate. Uh, it does say Star Wars, has a little bit of a ad copy for Disney, for Cardamundi, and LucasArts. The inside of the case is sculpted so that it fits the deck snugly in a nice little soft padded shell. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. The back design is a one-way artistic representation of Boba Fett standing against a field of flame. And down here in the corner, it does say Star Wars. One way meaning it looks only correct one way. Sometimes playing cards are two-way back designs where it doesn't matter if you flip it right side up. Uh, it, you know, it looks the same either way. The other nice thing about this is, this is a poker-sized playing card. There was a time a while back, if you got a movie version of a deck of cards, uh, they came only in bridge size, and those aren't as fun to collect, or at least not for me, because all the cards I collect are poker size. So it's nice to have a full-size poker image of Boba Fett. Boba Fett, of course, is the most uh, famous character from the Star Wars trilogy, uh, from the original trilogy, even from the prequel. Uh, he was so exciting, people, fans, they gravitated him to, to him so much that they put him into the prequels. Not a lot of stuff is known about Boba Fett. They've made books, they've made you know, back lore and comic books, but really when it comes down to it, Nobody knows. Uh, his dad was more than likely from Mandalore, um, wore the Mandalorian armor. His son grew up watching his father in this armor, but then his dad was killed. And, um, hopefully, maybe in the future, we'll learn uh, more about Boba Fett in some of these uh, new movies being uh, released. That's exciting. I think uh, the fans always appreciate uh, cool Boba Fett stuff when it comes out. And so definitely looking forward to that. With this deck, you're gonna get two Jokers. Uh, that both have that same uh, skull icon in the corner. And again, they're artistic representations of Boba Fett. These aren't actual photographs from the movies. And then you're also gonna get a third Joker or a third extra card. This would be in lieu of your ad card. Um, it's a different symbol. This is the symbol that he wears on his chest right there. This is the journeyman symbol. Uh, and so it, you can use this as an extra card, a gaff card, or just a third Joker. With the spade suit, you're gonna get all kinds of book covers and uh, fan art of Boba Fett. So again, all the spades are gonna be like comic book art, different book covers that Boba Fett's been on, uh, fan art that's been done about the infamous bounty hunter. The diamond cards are gonna be photographed stills of Boba Fett from the movies. The clubs, again, are gonna be uh, drawings and paintings. And then the heart cards are gonna be like the Ralph McQuarrie drawings, the studies, the um, sketches of what Boba Fett was gonna be in his prefab or his pre -viz days. All right, that's everything I can say about the Boba Fett deck from Cardamundi. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep coming back. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, especially if you like Star Wars. May the Force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.